This video shows how to simplify the compaction process when different specimen sizes are frequently required. What if we told you that you did not have to change the ram foot when alternating between 100 and 150 millimeter specimens? When testing requirements frequently demand different specimen sizes, you can save time and hassle by only using the smaller size ram foot. Confusing? Not really. Here's a common example. Let's say you're making 100 millimeter specimens for moisture sensitivity testing and 150 millimeter specimens for super paved volumetric mix design. You can actually use the 100 millimeter ram foot for both. You will first install the 100 millimeter ram foot, then calibrate the height for the larger specimen size using the 100 millimeter ram foot and the 150 millimeter mold top. This is assuming that the force has already been calibrated. Then calibrate the internal angle of gyration using the 150 millimeter mold top and the 100 millimeter ram foot. Lastly, calibrate the height for the smaller specimen size using the 100 millimeter mold top and 100 millimeter ram foot. If different specimen sizes are not frequently required, it is always best practice to use the ram foot that corresponds to the desired specimen size. Just remember, anytime you change the ram foot, be sure to calibrate the height. So that's a small tip on how to save time and simplify your compaction process. For more helpful tips, subscribe to the Pine Test Equipment channel and give them a like while you're there. This video is brought to you by Pine Test Equipment, the experts in asphalt gyratory compaction.